for an expected clash between left and right wing groups on Saturday. So the FBI reportedly will be involved as well here. City officials are worried though about a planned Proud Boys rally on Saturday. That group was also at the 2017 Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville where violence broke out. And to add to concerns, counter protesters, including Antifa, are expected to show up. So Brandy's here. We know these two groups are in the same place, and that could spell trouble. Yeah, it's definitely a concern. I mean, you want to hope that it's, you got to be careful not to overblow it and sort of set up this expectation that they're going to go there and clash. Hopefully, Portland police are used to these rallies enough where they can try to plan and prepare. We'll talk about that more in a minute. But yeah, I mean, you talked about Proud Boys being in Charlottesville. There's no doubt that that rally ended in, in violence and the death of one woman. Uh, and also Antifa. Look, you know, Antifa has a history of of uh, violence. We have seen that in, in Seattle. Uh, and so with both of those groups in the same place, clearly there are some concerns. But the Portland Police Bureau says they're on top of it. This one event isn't going to define our city. You can anticipate uh, a very large law enforcement presence, a visible presence in the area um, in order for us to do whatever we can to keep this event safe. You know, one of the things I thought was interesting, I was looking at the Portland Police Bureau website this morning, and um, they had put out this press release, long pr press release, and in it, they had said that they're concerned that, and I want to read the quote, that events like this one coming up on Saturday can leave individuals with a perception of fear. And so they actually released to the public yesterday uh, crime statistics showing people in Portland and outside of Portland that, hey, we are a safe city. So although the press, like we are, are going to be talking about this potentially uh, concerning event on Saturday, they literally put out to the public, look, you know, our crime rates are relatively low compared to other uh, major cities. So trying to get out in front uh, of the narrative that is being weaved ahead of Saturday. Right. And so I, I think part of it, too, and you mentioned it, um, there are some folks down there that have come up here they've caused trouble yeah. some people just want to like stir things up in situations like that and they really don't have any um you know any sort of real bent on the actual event that's mm. being uh commemorated there but from a police standpoint, what tactics are they going to use to try to, to quell what violence could be there? Sure, and we have seen, you know, it'll be similar things to what we see Seattle police doing. You know, we've had for many years events up here that have been worrisome. Uh, the planning for this starts the moment that you know it's going to happen. Uh, and for Portland police, one of the things that they've been doing is they have been trying to reach out uh, and contact event organizers. And so there are going to be multiple groups that are going to be present, including the Proud Boys, including Antifa. Antifa, and, and they try to do this in Seattle as well. They try to reach out and say, hey, listen, we're interested in helping protect your First Amendment rights. We just want to make sure everyone is safe. Uh, it's easier to reach out to a more organized group like Proud Boys, where there's a clear hierarchy involved in leadership you can reach out to. It's harder to reach out to a group like Antifa, which by their nature shouldn't have a hierarchy uh, and is harder to get to cooperate with police. Uh, the other thing, we know the FBI is involved, so certainly there are going to be some intelligence measures going on to make sure that nothing very serious is being planned uh, and to thwart anything that might uh, be in the works uh, before it happens. But one of the really effective things on the day and a uh, day of, and we've seen this used in Seattle uh, increasingly over the years as they've sort of come to understand what works and what doesn't, and we've seen it used in Portland, is they will try right off the bat to separate these groups. They'll do it with physical barricades. They'll do it with their own police officers and their bicycle officers. The goal is, and I've seen this used very effectively during a rally uh, between a, a right-wing group and Antifa in Seattle. This was gosh, maybe two or three years ago now, where there was never a point where those two groups were able to physically touch each other. They certainly tried, but you had police using every available Available means to keep them apart so they can shout at each other as much as they want, uh, but they're not actually able to intermix. That's the key, obviously, to avoiding any sort of violent uh, confrontations. All right, Brandy, thank you. Yeah. A suspicious fire at a Jehovah's Witness.